Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Canada has just conducted the express entry draw 170, which is probably the last express entry draw of 2020. We will discuss all about this. What was the cutoff score? How many people were invited? What was the tie breaking rule? And what's the shape of the express entry pool now? But before that, let me take you to Facebook. If you have any queries you can join the dream abroad canada facebook group there are more than 83000 people helping each other achieve their dreams facebook is for your queries and if you want to enjoy some fun time you can join me on instagram you can follow me at dreamers abroad it's all about fun and all about my life in canada okay so coming over to the express entry draw 170 which is probably the last express entry draw so the cutoff score was 468 in this draw and the last express entry draw which was conducted two weeks ago the cutoff score was 469 and now the cutoff score is 468 which is actually the lowest cutoff score in the last 15 months or so not only in the last one year. So if you check the previous rounds you'd see that the cutoff score below 468 was 464 and which was October 2nd 2019. And after that, you see all the all program draws, the cutoff score has only been equal to 469 or above. This is the federal skill trade, so this is a different draw. But all the all program draws in the last 15 months have had the cutoff score of 469 or higher. And this is the lowest cutoff score in 15 months. So that's a really good news. And yet again, the number of invitations issued are 5000 and tie breaking rule was 4th of June 2020 at this time. So if you have a score of 468, then this tie breaking rule would apply to you. If you created your profile before this time and your score was 468, then yes, you would certainly get the ITA in the next few hours. And obviously all the people having 469 or above would get the invitation very soon in the next couple of hours. Now let's quickly check the CR score distribution of candidates in the express entry pool as of December 21, which is just two days before. So here we can say that all of these people would have got the invitations and in here, all of these people would have got the invitations as well. Now in this score range, 461 to 470, some of these people would have got the invitations and some would be waiting as per the cutoff score of 468. Now I explained all of this in the prediction draw when I explained to you that if the draw gets conducted on the week starting December 14th, then the cutoff score would go really down. You can expect the cutoff score to go down by four or five points. But because the draw has been conducted today on December 23rd, which is exactly two weeks from when the last draw was conducted. So we can say, so there's been a drop of only one point. But yes, that's a really good sign because if you see in the last few draws, the cutoff score has regularly been dropping. So on November 5th, when the 166 draw was conducted, the cutoff score was 478. Then after that, it dropped to 472, then 469. And then after that, it stayed at 469. And then today, we are at 468. So that's a really good sign. Hopefully, it would keep dropping in the upcoming times as well. And many more people who are waiting in the express entry pool can get the invitations. Overall, Canada has issued more than 15,000 invitations on top of their target so that's a really good sign that they want immigrants in their country so badly yes hopefully guys this is the last express entry draw of 2020 because uh, we do not expect a draw in the next week anyways they conduct the draw in the alternate weeks but the next week you can say that's all holidays in here in canada so the 471st draw the next draw we would expect that would be conducted in the first week of 2020 21 and hopefully we would expect more drop in the cutoff score in that draw so thanks a lot for watching this video guys if you have any queries please put it down in the comment section below and yes if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet you know the deal you have to click the subscribe button for this channel dream abroad thanks again for watching this video